Hello, students. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Hi, welcome to our Thank English teacher. class. Hello, good, good to see you guys. Welcome to our English class. We're ready to practice and study here in this class. And well, the, the main purpose about this class is that we can learn new contents. Also, we can practice English and produce the language because that's one of the ways. When I see the word intermediate, I, that comes into my mind that I need to speak a little bit more and also combining with vocabulary expressions, grammar structures in a combination of things. So, and how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, I'm fine. Fine, teacher. Excellent, have you, have you been um, watching the soccer games about the World Cup? Yes, yes. Do you have a favorite soccer I, I, team? I was. I was watching, um, pues, yes, several, several teams, several, for several. example, oh, what? Oh, tell me, tell me. Yes, I, I house several teams, uh, Brazil, uh, Francia, and the, ah, yeah uh, and others and others yes <laughs> yeah there are there are great um uh, soccer teams definitely that is going to be a hard mm -hmm. a hard round but uh, according to your uh personal expectation and also some games that have played in this first round who uh, do you think will win the world cup what country <laughs> argentina <Forever>. maybe, maybe <laughs> brazil too yeah, it, it's, it's very challenging. Definitely that the games will be more um, difficult I, I, in the second round. That would say that octavos, right? Because, you know, <clears> the, <throat> best, the best teams have gone to the next round. Okay, so let's continue with the class and we'll talk about family this time. But before this, I would like to ask you, uh, what do you remember we studied in the last class? Tell me, tell me. Like and dislike. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like and dislike. What Conditional else? We, we practice question with ah. class. Invitations and also requests, right? When we invite someone using would. And, and also we said that we use would because it's very formal to request for something. For example, we say, would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? Would you like to get some water? Would you like to go out for a special dinner? So we request um, something in a good way uh, as an invitation, but at the same time, we had the opportunity to accept an invitation. Like I would like to, I will, it would be great. Thank you. I really, I will, I would like to go. I would love it. So, et cetera. But at the same time, you, you can um, refuse the invitation, giving an explanation about the reasons why you cannot stay there. Like, uh, I would like to, but I had to work. Oh, that would be awesome, but I have uh, something to do at home. Oh, I would like to, but I'm sick. So there are different reasons why uh, we can say something about it. And also we'll continue reinforcing uh, the topics about likes and dislikes. So look at this one. And also in, let's see, Gerson, can you help me to read the instruction? Uh, uh, also, uh, only one. Uh, the instruction. Ah, the instruction, yes. I right answer to this question about entertainment. Okay, so you can see here, uh, it's a survey. Uh, do you know what a survey is? Survey, survey. A survey. Yeah, survey, yes, yes, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, perfect. So you can, you had to write answers to these questions about entertainment. Uh, when do you usually watch TV? Um, I usually watch TV at night because I work during the day. So at night I have some free time to watch television, 
what kind of programs do you like? I, you know, I love comedy, cartoons, uh, action, especially series that I really love series when I have time, I just can watch them. Do you like reality shows? No, I think it's a little boring. I don't know, people talking. It's not like, I'm not used to be watching some reality shows. It's not so common for me to watch them. Do you, li do you listen to the radio? No, I don't, especially unless that are, are news in English. I can listen, but meanwhile, I don't. Uh, who's your favorite singer? Uh, what do you think of salsa? What is your favorite movie? What kinds of movies do you dislike? And uh, do you like science fiction? So I want you to take this short time to answer uh, these questions about entertainment. After that, we will work in a small breakup rooms and we will work with the small groups. You will ask the questions and your partners will give their answers. That is the main purpose, that you can give your answers and at the same time, you can listen your partner's answers. So I will give you uh, three minutes to think about these questions. And when you are ready, we will work in the breakup rooms and we will socialize the equations in groups. Is that clear? Yes. Excellent, yes. excellent. Yes. So let's start responding the equations. Cocolino.
Okay, students, let's take a short time to um, socialize these questions with your partners. Remember that the most important is to have a short time to interact and also practice English. You can ask questions, uh, also um, share uh, some questions related to the pronunciation uh, so we can help each other. That's the advantage to working groups because with all of us, we can also interact and we can help with vocabulary, pronunciation and expressions that are very valuable in this process. So let's work with that. So we will share these questions. And let's see. Okay, three. One second. Fourth. Okay, like this one. All right, so let's work with that. Okay, ask me a question. Podría compartir la página la donde aparecen las preguntas? Okay, ya. Yeah. Listo? Yeah, ready. Okay. Sure. When do you usually watch TV? Uh, um, I usually I watch TV at the night. And you? Okay, good. Um, I watch him the TV when I finish my homework. Okay. Excellent. Uh, okay. Uh, what kinds of programs do you like? What kind? Okay. Uh, uh, another person? The answer? Catherine? <laughs> Como si yo la pregunta, ya no dije nada. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, watch TV um, and the night frequently when I have a period that I like. Okay. Uh, ¿Quieres, Catherine, hacerle pregunta a Adriana? ¿Otra pregunta? Yo pregunta en general. Responding. Okay. Uh -huh. Next. What kind of program do you like? I okay. Um, I like some the documentary field in my house and my and my for me. I like and, the documentary field. Documentary. Adriana? My, my, answer, my answer is uh, I like programs of education, so programs about health of person. Uh, okay, In excellent. UK, Adriana? I like my games, I like Sacaño oh. Extremo and Cuponmania on TLC. Cuponmania? Yeah. Uh, I like it. <laughs> okay, good. Perfect. Okay, the next the next question is do you like reality show? Do you do, do you like reality show, Catherine? Yes, I like it, uh, reality show the dance and sport music, etc. Oh okay, you do like yeah. Okay. Esmeralda, do you like reality show? Um, yes, I like. Yeah, okay. Uh, Adriana? No, I don't like. I really, uh, the reality show is very about it. <laughs> okay, me too. Don't, I don't dislike the reality show. 
Ah, ok, si quieras, Adriana, haga las siete preguntas, por favor, si gusta, para que hagamos. And do you listen to the radio? Uh, okay, me, I like, yes, I listen to the radio every day and every moment. Um, in my case, not much. Maybe you do. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Uh, uh, Esmeralda. Uh, what? Uh, do you like? Do you listen to the radio? Uh, more. ¿Cómo se dice más o menos? More or, le more or less, algo así, ¿no? Uh, I don't know. More or less. More or less. Okay. Yes. Uh, more or less. Oh, okay. So Maybe so. In my <laughs> so, so in too. my case, uh, when my grandfather listened, I hear. Okay, you listen because your grandfather listened. Obligation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next question. Uh, Esmeralda, you, you can do it, please. Uh, the next question. See, the next question is. About uh, no, who is? Ah, uh, who is your favorite singer? Okay, yes. Adriana. And um, my favorite singer is Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, oh, good. Catherine? In my opinion, is out of all of me, of John Legend. John Legend. John Legend. John Legend. Okay. Uh, uh, Catherine? Uh, la canción, the singer is All of Me. Oh, oh is, is the singer was in, in the group, the band? No, es, es un sí. cantante sí. que canta ah. música en inglés. Ah, okay. I don't know who is. Catherine? Um, in my case, my favorite singer is Laura Pausini. Laura like Pausini. Okay, in my case, uh, my favorite singer is, uh, I don't know, so much. Uh, Alejandro Fernandez likes music. Okay, the next question. Catherine, did you do uh, Okay, what? what do you think of salsa? Oh, salsa? I not like salsa. I not I don't know. like salsa. Is, salsa, salsa, is, salsa is for salsa. me. For, for me, no. <laughs> it's very interesting, but it's not for me. Mm. <laughs> do, do, do you don't like salsa uh, listening or do you don't like dancing like salsa? Nothing. 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 <laughs> okay, Catherine? Yes. 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 You like salsa? Yeah. Or what? Maybe, maybe bachata. Ah, bachata. Like it. Dancing. <laughs> bachata is more sen sexy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like me salsa. I I, I can I can um ¿cómo se dice? Perdón. Aprendiendo se me olvidó la palabra. Uh, learning. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I can I I learn in salsa. I, I learn in dancing salsa. I like salsa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um y... La serie de anime. Okay. <laughs> anime ya, movies. Ya, ya no podemos ser amigos. <laughs> sí, amigos. De hecho, se iba okay. a decir cuando me preguntaran cuáles me gustaban, pero ya me dio. Another question is, who is your favorite singer? Creo que yo no lo entiendo el anime. <laughs> Eh, dale una oportunidad. <laughs> eh, my fa I don't have a favorite singer, but singer. I, I, I have a favorite band eh, that is eh, Coldplay. 
is my favorite band. The favorite singer I I don't have. Okay. No sé si me di a entender. Ahí van a disculpar. What is the name of the band? Repeat. Coldplay. 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 Yes. 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 Uh, a really so, famous. So. Yes. Yes. So so. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think of salsa? Mm. I think. Uh, alguien más? Do you have like? Yes. Me, I I mean Someone else? like salsa. Um, I think the music relax. Um, I like salsa. I think okay. that that is a uh, funny uh, music uh, because uh, people dance with with, with it. Es siento que es como una música alegre. Yes, yes, yes. Is is happy music. It's happy music. Yes. Yes. Uh. Eh, another question. Okay, um, most of your partners are, are joining the class. So, it, well, it was a great conversation because most of you were giving your personal information about likes and dislikes, and I really like. So this is definitely great. And also the advantage is that we can practice. We can uh, use our vocabulary. We think about what expressions we can uh, say, vocabulary, so it's very valuable. So let's continue with the next activity. It's, it's the advantages of speaking. So let's continue with the next part. And let me show you here. What an excuse. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, make up pre invitations to interesting activities, writing on cards. In that case, well, you were writing in your notebooks. Think about three invitations. Um, I want to see the frogs races tomorrow. They are at the park at two. Would you like to go? Uh, tomorrow, there is going to be a great movie at the movie theater at 5 p.m. And I'm thinking, would you like to go with me? Or oh, uh, there is going to be a very nice presentation of amazing sculptures at the museums at 1 p.m. And I'm asking, would you like to go? Um, there's going to be a soccer game uh, between two great teams in El Salvador. And I'm thinking that if you would like to go. So think about three invitations that, you know, encourage you to, to do some activities. And uh, after you write them down in your notebooks, and you have them, this, it says write three response cards one is an acceptance card and two are ref refusals. Think of silly or unusual excuses. Look at one example. Wow, that sounds great. What time do you want to meet? 
So that is an acceptance, right? Because you're saying, hey, of course, let's go. What time, my friend? Oh, obviously, I would like to. Uh, yeah, well, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, what time are you going? And also the next one. I, I like to, but um, I have to wash my cat tomorrow, my car, or my something else. Oh, I, I would like to, but I have to do some homework at the university, so I, I cannot. So thank you so much for that. I love it too, but I want to take my bird to a singing contest. So I will be very busy in the afternoon. So think about um, three interesting invitations and also three possible uh, answers. One, it's going to be a sentence and the other one is going to be a refusal. That's what we had to do. So I want you to take this time to write this information. And after that, we will socialize the answers. Entonces, usted va a escribir, va a escribir tres invitaciones. Usted dice, por ejemplo, el día de mañana va a haber eh, un evento, un congreso, y van a presentar obras de arte. Entonces, me preguntaba si te gustaría ir conmigo a las 3 de la tarde. Usted va a hacer tres invitaciones, porque esa se la va a preguntar a sus compañeros. Y aparte, usted va a escribir tres eh, respuestas. Una que sea en la que acepta, por ejemplo, si su compañero le dice, usted dice, bueno, voy a aceptar esta. Y dice, ok, um, yeah, interesting. Hey, let's go, my friend. Or what time do we meet? Y dos que sean como refusals. Dos que usted dice, I, I would like to, but I can, I, I had to work. Entonces, vamos a hacer esto en este momento, mientras usted trabaja en, en sus tres invitaciones y sus tres respuestas, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ok, you listen to your name and you say present. No se les olvide también tener su cámara encendida y que su nombre sea esté ahí en la pantalla, ya que es un requerimiento de Insafor y a través del grupo siempre se están mandando la información que tienen que estar con la cámara encendida. Recuerden que estas clases son grabadas y entonces eh, se monitorea todo esto. Bien, um, vamos a ver. Sí, Adriana Gretel González. Here. Agustín Alexander Santa María. Uh, Agustín Alexander. Andrea. Thank you, Agustín. Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Andrea. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Eh, Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Se encuentra por acá. Present. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas, ¿se encuentra por acá? Present. Eh, Denis Alonso Marinero Gutiérrez, ¿se encuentra por acá? Denis Alonso. 
No, eh, micrófonos. Eh, Francisco Alexander Villaforte Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Eh, teacher. Hola. Excuse me. Teacher. Yes. Uh, no sé si me puso a mí. Soy Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Lo que pasa es que no hallaba el micrófono para encenderlo. Ah, ok, ok. Yes, sí, no lo había puesto. Vaya, hoy sí. Ok, thank you. Ok, está Denis. No, no está. Eh, Francisco Javier. Freddy José Álvarez. Freddy José Álvarez. Eh, Gabriel, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor España. Gabriela María Peña. Gerson Vinicio Moreno. Present. Eh, Glendy Elisette Flores Ramírez. Present. Eh, let's see. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. ¿Se encuentra por acá? Yes, present. Thank you. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Thanks. Eh, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Eh, Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Ok. Okay, are you ready or not yet? Not yet. Too. Okay.
Okay, I'm ready, teacher. Already. Okay, so. Okay, let's start right now, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I, I start. Okay. My first question or uh, is I want no I say I, I really I want to see the sunset tomorrow. On the beach, would you like to go? Uh, my answer positive is yes, I love to. Thanks. Um, negative is I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, and uh, my one invitation? Yeah. Um, you are invited on Friday, December 5th, five, uh, for a dinner from a tick or word and you come. You can can you come? Um number one and in positive as well. Yes, it will be a pleasure to attend and Negative. I can. I can. I have a comment. Commitment. I'm sorry. And two, if possible, I can attend. It's okay, uh, Adriana. My question is: uh, Tomorrow there will be a birthday party at my grand. My grand. My abuelos. My no. father. No, casa de mis abuelos is ah. grandparents. Uh -huh. yeah. House, would you like to go around 4 p.m.? Positive, uh, yes, I would like to go with you. And I will, I will love to thank you. And negative, I would like to go, but I need to say money. Or I would like to go, but I have to work at 5 p.m. Oh, okay. Uh, Esmeralda? No, yo no la hice. No la hice porque no entendí. No entendí qué era lo que íbamos a hacer porque había gente aquí que estaban hablando. No, oh, no, tienes que callarlos. Si no, no va a pasar el examen. <risa> Era, tenías que hacer una invitación y, y contestarla en, de tres maneras. Una en positiva y dos en negativa. Si quieres la puedes hacer así como lo hemos hecho nosotros ahorita. ¿Viste el ejemplo? Hacer una. Hacer... Uh -huh. Ahí está. Hacer una invitación. Ajá, sí. aquí está el ejemplo. Dice, la invitación que pone acá en el, en el ejemplo, dice, I want to see the frog race tomorrow. They are at the park at 2 p.m. Would you like to go? Entonces, haz una invitación como esa. Cámbiale ahí 
otras actividades, otra, y luego se hacen las contestaciones como la parte de abajo, en positive eh, one y negative two. Uh, dos positivas y una, dos oh. negativas y una positiva. Respuesta, sí. Ajá, en base a la invitación que tú vas a formular. Ok, trataré de hacerlo rápido. <ríe> ok, si quiere hacemos otro, como eran tres, yo hice tres. Catherine también, voy a hacer la, leer la otra si gusta. Okay. Dice, I want to go camping in the mountain. Would you, would you like to go? Ok, um, as well, positive, yes, I like, I, I, I really like to go. Um, negative, I like to, but I need to save money. Oh. I like to, but I have afraid of darkness. Oh. Okay. And um, um, I, you are all invited to be part of the opening of my new business on Monday at 88 in the morning. I hope you want to come. And positive, uh, hands were positive. Yes, I'll be there. Thanks. And negative, I can. I have a word. Sorry. And two, I'm sorry. I can. Have, I'm sick. The the movie. Esta me gustaría, pero depende de la película. But depend of the movie. Uh -huh. Depend of the movie. Eh, tengo otra aquí. Es más, eh, es, no es usando el, el podrías de la forma, pero es, es como un cumpleaños. Es I, I invite you to my birthday if tomorrow. I, I invite you. I invite you. I, what? I invite, invite you. Sí, no, ¿Ah? sí, lengua la traba. Yes, I invite yeah. you to my birthday. Eh, It's tomorrow. Um, I like to, but I had a uh, party with a family. Okay. I would, like, I, I would like to go, but I, but I can, but I can't. I, I have, okay. I have to, to work. To watch I have to work. Brazil. I have, I have to see uh -huh. the games of the 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 Qatar, the Mundial, yeah. Qatar, yeah. 2022. Uh, yes. well, uh, a good, a good ask. I yes. don't have because I need to watch uh, Brazil, tomorrow, no, Spain, 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 tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Alguien más tiene pregunta? Yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, Would you like to go to surf this weekend? Um, I would like to, but I can surf it. Okay. Uh, I, I can like to. Sorry. No, no, let's continue. I would like to, but I compromise my family. But I, but I can. Okay. Compromisos. Mm -hmm. uh, things. Es el compromiso. No sé cómo sería la palabra, pero sí. Es el... Oh. Como. Cool, cool. Busy. Ocupado. Uh, busy. I, okay. I will. I will busy. Uh, yes, I will be busy. In that day, I will mm -hmm, estar ocupado ese día. That day. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Está bien. Okay, uh, another, uh, another, okay, another. Yes. Suelta. Would you like to go to see dolphin at the aquarium? I, I go. Uh, I would like to go with you to see a, a dolphin or a beautiful animal. Yes. 
Okay. It's a it's a big chance. Yes. It's very is are very yeah. smart. Very it's smart. Very too. Very smart. Too. Yes, I like to go. Thank you. Okay. Hmm? Another Yo question. Me, would you like to go on out on Friday or Friday night? Go out. No entendí. Would go you out. like to go out on Friday night? Go out in Friday night. Go out. Yes. Go out. Salir el... Yes, yes. Salir. Go out. I would like... Yes, I will lie. Uh, yes, uh, aquí va una, eh, eh, así para. Uh, I would like to go to uh, drink beers with my friends. Um, I don't know because. Yeah. Uh, I'll go lie. I'll go lie. Yeah. I'll go lie. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Yeah. Eh, sería so so. So so. Uh, uh, ni, yeah. ni, ni si ni no. Ni si ni no. Yeah. Uh. So so. Ok. No, yo hubiera respondido. I, I, I would like to go. Uh, but I hello, hello. Okay, students, uh, thank you so much for the practice. It was like a great conversation. I could listen to all of you, like discussing a little bit about the invitations. So there were some nice invitations. Definitely, I really enjoyed the way you were uh, socializing some invitations and the, the polite way to respond each one because we shouldn't be rude when somebody asks us to do something or go out. And um, we had to be very, very polite and say, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're very kind. Oh, so nice of you. Because, you know, if someone is inviting us to do something, the best that we can do is to thanks for what this person has, has done. That is an invitation. And in that case, that's why it's very important to be very polite and expressed or thankful. And at the same time, uh, say if we are available or not, because you could say, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Oh, sadly, I, I have to do something this weekend and I have to do something related to my job. So I will be very busy, but thanks for your time. Oh, very, you're very kind. That would be ways that we can express, you know, or thankful because of that. And that is uh, something that we had to do, guys. And well, uh, I also like the way how you were socializing about uh, invitations on things are very creative, very creative invitation, that is great. Well, let's continue. And we will check, um, especially vocabulary related to our family. I know that for most of us, it could be like a piece of cake to talk about family. So we have, uh, this is the tree family. 
So I know that most of you, uh, you know, have great families and they it says, look at the Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? At his words to the family tree. So in the first one, we have the, the first, the family trees, they are like at the top of the tree. They are at the top for tree. So we have the grandfather and also we have the grand? Mother. Mother. Okay, the grandfather and grandmother. Excellent. Thank you. So look at that. Okay, microphones, please. Microphones. Okay, so after that, we have other color. We have this ones. Chris and Sarah. Mother. So that means that Chris is? Father. 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 Okay, another way to say father? Dad. Dad. Another one? Daddy. 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 Daddy, okay, that's good. Of son, course. Two. What? Son, because he's a son of Andy. Ah, no, but 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 the, the, the name, because we have mother and also we have father. Oh. Yes, okay. and the next one. What about Donna and Manuel? Donna is aunt and Manuel is? Uncle. Uncle. uncle, 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 yes, and that is the pronunciation. Uncle, that's correct. Uncle, 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 uncle. uncle. yes, that's right. Look at this. Um, and then we have Sam and we have Jumiko, Sam's husband and his see, wife. And wife. Wife. wife, yes, his wife. Bye. And what we can see is that she um, has a different nationality and also because of the name too. Okay, let's see. Asia. Asia, okay, could be uh, from Asia, of course. Okay, and then we have Jim and Lisa. Jim is the brother and Lisa would be? Sister. Sister love. Sister. Sister, love. Sister. Okay. Some people they say are siblings. Siblings. Okay. They are siblings. Okay. Some British people say, oh, it's my sister. It's my sister. It's my brother. It's like yes. British. British. What's American? Uh, also, we have uh, Teresa, aunt, and Manuela Sanko. Teresa will be what? Daughter. Mm, there is a... mm -hmm. could be a daughter i don't know in english cousin no Co cousin cousin mm -hmm. mm. del tío y la tía cousin sobrina sobrina pero no sé cómo se dice cousin mm. sobrina es niece niece Niece. Mm -hmm. Niece. Y sobrino, Niece. yeah. Y sobrino nephew. en inglés es nephew. That's right. Nephew, nephew sobrino. En niece, sobrina. Nephew. Nephew. And the last one, eh, Kelly and Jimmy. Aquí tenemos nephew. En este caso, mm -hmm. nephew is Jimmy. Y Kelly sería. Niece. 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 Okay. Exactly. Muy bien. Entonces sería niece and nephew. Y cousin okay. es primo y prima. Cousin. Cousin. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Tomorrow we will work in a different exercise like the ones we have here. So you can take advantage of all that. Y la desarrollaríamos el día de, de mañana. But you can take advantage of this. Okay. What it says. Find the correct English word for a given phrase. Eh, el esposo de tu tía es, ¿qué sería? Uncle. Okay. Uncle. Uncle, of course, right? 
And also with the rest one, your brother's wife is, la esposa de tu hermano es? Sister-in-law. Okay, so you can also work with that activity. So okay. you, can, you can do it as a homework, as part of the practice. And tomorrow we will take a short time to complete this exercise in the first part of the class. So thank you guys for being here. And I hope that we will uh, take a good time. And I hope to see you tomorrow to uh, complete part of the class during this week. So thank you so much, okay. everybody. And have a beautiful uh, night to all of you guys. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See, you. see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you.